Hello lovely and welcome to this week's episode of Sensitive Superstars, which is actually take two of this live. Um, I started this morning and got cut off by bad Wi-Fi, but here I am. So if you are a sensitive woman, then you are in the right place. My name is Cara, if we haven't met before. I support sensitive women to unleash your sensitivity as your superpower. I am also the founder of the Sensitive Sisterhood. and. Every week I am sharing some techniques, some content, some inspiration to support you on your journey to really unleashing your sensitivity and experiencing your desired life right now while you create that amazing um, impact in the world. So I was sharing this morning all about the drama queen and it is just so timely as we are approaching the festive season you know, the drama queen will come out to play big time over the festive season because no matter, you know, where you're at right now, you will have stories and experiences and um, memories from childhood and upwards about what Christmas means. And, you know, we're, you know, with the, the drama queen, so we have five inner fear freaks. If you're just meeting the inner fear freaks for the first time, you have five. Um, in you and they are you know they're some of them are more dominant than others um, and the drama queen is a really interesting one because she is really um, connected to the story of not being not being enough which all of the inner fear freaks are to, to one extent or another but she's especially um, to do with our addiction to pain um, and our addiction to the old stories and beliefs that really do keep us stuck. So you know um, in your life right now I bet you can think of three stories that are keeping you stuck, that are stopping you from really experiencing like the most intimacy in your relationships. You know, you will have stories that are keeping you stuck in certain areas of your life and definitely that are being like a giant pain in your ass in some way. Just at this point, I wanna say, I have my diffuser on. So if it looks like I'm on fire, I'm not. It is the diffuser smoke. Okay, so with all of that in mind, you might be listening to this going, I don't really know, do I have a drama queen? Do I not have a drama queen? You do, okay? Oh, I, I know this from, ex from the experience I've had of working with many amazing women. We all have the drama queen in us. And as a sense of women, because you have this amazing capacity for um, sense for yeah for sensitivity but for compassion and love and um, empathy the drama queen is right there and when we yeah when you're approaching the festive season to, regardless of how you're going to celebrate or how you how you um how yeah how you have your Christmas what that actually means to you what you actually do there will be those stories there right and yeah quite often um this is addiction with the drama queen to the pain and that's when you hear the old stories that go on repeat and you can feel that pain where I don't know where you feel it hit me up and share let me know because you know our bodies are so super powerful and they take on a lot of our emotions and like hold on to them and um, so for me I can feel that that drama queen pain it comes from to my heart it's like a really strong um it's a really it can be very strong sometimes um, in my heart and um, for you it might be in your throat it may be you know it may be that actually you've you've stored a lot of it in your hips because it's a sensitive woman a lot goes to our hips a lot gets stored there um so it's really good to check in like oh, with your body and listen to the clues as well so when you hear the stories coming up also check in with your body like what's going on in your body as well so two ways you may well have lived with the drama queen to date one of those is that you pretended that she wasn't there. So this is what I see a lot, and I, and I had this experience, which was to pretend that I wasn't sensitive, to not own my sensitivity, and then therefore not own the five inner fear freaks that go with it. So not owning the that. So when you don't own the drama queen, then she has a lot of power over you. And it, you know, I'm gonna share in a little bit some really great techniques to, to kind of let go of that. To ditch the drama um, but the other way that we can live is by really feeling and like you know feeling is amazing but like I mean like when you're in that exhausted place of, of feeling like you just don't have it in you to face 
those stories or to deal with a person in your life because perhaps you don't have clear boundaries in place. You don't have the self-care that's, that's regularly replenishing you. You're not prioritizing yourself. Basically, you're not being your well-being warrior. And if you're not being your well-being warrior, you, you you're, you are going to be feeling resentful and frustrated and pissed off and just generally a little bit like, yeah, just a bit really naffed off in the world for want of a better phrase. So ditching your drama queen. So first off, yeah, it's not about pretending that she's not there or then tr or just trying to block her out. It's about showing her love. What she needs to hear from you is reassurement. She needs to know that things are going to be okay. She wants to. She wants love and compassion from you, basically. Um, so you can you can give that without going into the stories, and that is a very um, simple. But it's a practice. It takes time to get that. It's a very simple thing to do. You just need to be able to find out what it is, you know, that's really triggering your drama queen in those situ. Is it a situation? Is it a person? Is it, you know, is it is it something that's energetically come from somewhere? And then do what you need to do to surrender that, to surrender the old stories and to experience the desired feelings that you want to be experiencing right now. Okay, that sounds, it is, it is, it, it sounds simple, but actually it does, yeah, it does take work, it does take practice, but it's so, so worth it. Even setting the commitment and then taking some kind of aligned action. So therefore putting something in place to support you with doing that. Don't go on your own with your drama queen. Like find support. Talk to the people who are your support systems, your communities, people who are in your life and are, re are really positive influences. And if you don't have them, find them because they are so, so important. So really understanding where that story has come from, what's triggering your drama queen, showing her the love and compassion that she needs without connecting and making it true. Because basically you then are in a place where you can breathe deeply and say, do you know what? Yeah, I have the drama queen. Yeah, this is showing up for me, but no, this is not my reality right now. And actually I'm gonna to choose to come at this situation with love. Now that might mean that actually you just have a really, you have to strengthen your boundaries. You have to say, no, actually spending time with this person over Christmas will not work for me. Or if that is something that has to happen, what do I need to do in order to really feel so good about myself beforehand that they don't have any impact on me? Because I'm so owning who I am as a sensitive woman that there isn't anything that can come into that force field because I am doing my practice. So this is really important for your drama queen. Make sure you're connecting to your higher self, like to your truth. What, what does that for you? Is it yoga? Is it meditation? Is it being out in nature? Is it doing things that really energize you? Really work with that. Understand where you're at in your cycle when it comes to your drama queen because hormonally there may be a lot going on for you that's influencing and impacting that addiction and that pain. Okay, so know your cycle really, really well. Um, and just, yeah, just be prepared to be really clear with yourself and with other people about what is acceptable to you and wasn't what isn't acceptable so hit me up and let me know how you found this and um, which of these techniques you're going to take away and use and if you want any more support at all just let me know if you've got any more questions now this friday we've got freedom friday going on so this is um this is like a like a middle finger up to um, Black Friday and instead it's a day where you can receive as a sense of woman you can show up to any of the live sessions that are happening for free during the day um, and get what you need to really connect with yourself to have that imperfect practice so you are being your well-being warrior and that you are really moving away from those inner fear freaks and the old stories that are keeping you stuck. Okay so I'm going to be sharing loads on Friday I'll pop the link below and um, there will also be some incredible, incredible um, money off offers on my programs and packages. So um, you will have first access to that and Friday only. So yeah, let me know how you find this and I will see you soon. Loads of love. Bye.